Hey guys, uh, I just did a really great review on a ration. It's taken me several days to to go ahead and get it get it done, and uh, I pieced it all together. And it was <laughs> it was an ungodly amount of time. It was almost a, a, an hour and fifty minutes long. So uh, this one is going to come out in uh, in three parts. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, it was definitely fun doing. So, uh, all right, enjoy the show. Hey guys, uh, kind of like a kid at Christmas. I could not wait, uh, like a week or so to open this thing up to look what was inside of it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, right off the bat, we have Slovenian on this side and English on this side, so granted, uh, I usually try not to screw up my mother tongue, but sometimes I do. So, yeah, uh, trying to see there is a Best before date of of March 2015, and and that's kind of why I want to go ahead and uh, get into this one first. So, and along with that, we also got this uh, chocolate muesli with milk. So, we'll probably go ahead and try this too. But seeing how uh, I'm kind of limited, and I really don't see a way to kind of tear into this thing besides this is kind of open on the top so what do we got here it's just a regular kind of plastic bag to keep everything waterproof uh, has a probably about a two millimeter heat seal and yeah so yeah let's go ahead and slice into this thing and I will do it from the back so I don't destroy the writing on the front, and this should be kind of a challenge. I know, I know. Sometimes when I stand, the kid even pierce the bag. Yep, a wee bit of a challenge. Okay, so right off the bat, look at inside, and I know I need to make this hole in. I can see immediately some more of those travel lunch meals. So, to set this over here, we have some of these crispy biscuit things. What do they say? Whole wheat bread. Crispy whole wheat bread. So, we got two little packs of those. We have here. It says a fruit bar with vitamins and minerals. Have some energy drinks, Vitamin Energy with B6 and B2. I'm sure if there's an orange on there, it's got vitamin C as well. Vitamin C, 80 milligrams. So yeah, so like energy pills. Wow. This is pretty cool. This is like an air pack. It is a hot pack. So I'm thinking this might be kind of along the lines of like the the Chinese in a, or at least the the Koreans. South Korean. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And this says that it has chicken and potato stew in a meat pouch so I'm pretty sure this is probably all one contained thing but we will find that out <clears throat> and from talking with uh, Savic he said it does take a little while for these things to activate but once they get going they get going so all right what else do we got pasta porcini from the travel lunch side of the house 
And then we have... Okay. Um, oh, thank God. I was, I was like, I don't think I'll be able to uh, guess that. But it's got English on the other side, so... And we have wild berry yogurt dessert. So, that is kind of cool. There is another travel lunch. <laughs> Chocolate muesli with milk. So, yeah, baby. Got two. So, outstanding. What else do we have in here? We still got more stuff. Knife, fork, and spoon accessory packet with a napkin. And looking at this knife, fork, and spoon, it's pretty consistent with like the IRP and the Polish ration. So, for some reason, they all use the same design. It's not a bad design. But what do we have here? This is insane. Uh, instant tea. And it, it feels powdered form, tea instant, in 800 milliliters of cold water. If this is all, if this is all tea, that is an insane amount of tea. Tea instant, so, yeah. Well, maybe this is a sports drink and not tea. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Uh. Yeah, well, it does have some English on here. Uh, citric acid, black tea extract. So, yeah, I would say this is uh, tea. So, that is, a, that is a lot of tea. But that's cool, too. And then we have a mineral vitamin drink. Like a sports drink. And... Some of it is in English, and some of it is in Slovenian, and it's that flavor, I'm guessing. So, pretty cool. Oh, we know I love my cans. What do we have here? This is probably the tuna and ring pulls. The guys are awesome. Always thinking ahead with ring pulls. And... Well, um, hmm, and this is a fish and vegetable pate. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I kind of, <laughs> I'm getting very, very excited. So, what do we have here? We have an accessory packet. We will take a look at that in a second. I see right off the bat looks like chocolate. So. Alright, and then we have like some orange drink, or that could be a peach. Apricot, 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 like jelly. And then we had two more of these, two more of these mineral drinks. And unless if I buried it, unless if this is the same one, it looked like there is another one of these fruit bars. Unless if it somehow slid out from my pile somewhere. So, but, nope, two fruit bars. So, cool. This is a, <laughs> this is a pretty comprehensive meal. I, I, I know it's for 24 hours, but uh, this, this is almost... Well, it probably is more than what you would get in an IRP. Uh, Slovenia, I'm pretty darn impressed with uh, the stuff you got on. You might be able to teach the the MRE makers over at Natick uh, a few lessons. And this was incredibly light, too. I'll go ahead and pack all this stuff back in here. And just sealed in this package, it seemed like it... Maybe a little more than an MRE, but not very much. Uh, so, kudos. Well, let me get this stuff cleared away and we'll go over the accessory packet. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'll probably zoom in a little bit on this one so we can get a better look. 
and it's just a simple plastic bag. It's just held together with a piece of cello tape or scotch tape. And see if we're smart enough to be able to get it out of this bag with one hand. Uh huh. I'm thinking, I don't know. This is something, this could be coffee, perhaps. It's granular. Feels like maybe ground coffee. I don't know, I'm sure somebody will advise. We have a trash bag or a bin liner. We have some gum. And this is Wrigley's Spearmint Sugar Free, probably about like five pieces or so. Disinfectant wipe. Instant coffee. Well, maybe this is the coffee. I don't know. Kava? Kasha? No, it's not Kasha because it doesn't have that W thing. Uh, another disinfectant wipe. Does this have it? Nope. And another disinfectant wipe. So three disinfectant wipes. This is like a P38 can opener of obviously uh, their manufacturer, so that is pretty cool. I know some of you uh, in the Marines call these John Waynes. We call them dammits because when we drop them, that's usually what we say. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice touch, very nice touch. And here is a chocolate bar. And 53, ah, see, there we go, 53% cocoa. So this is probably going to be a dark chocolate as opposed to a milk chocolate. And what do we have in here? Nothing, because it's outside the bag. Uh, I'm assuming that this is uh, sugar. Because I don't. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's got little moons on it, too. Isn't that precious? But that's pretty neat. Okay, and this is waterproof matches or windproof matches with a striker. I always think this is a really good touch. Usually, if you include these in your kits, you're issued with a with a, a, a cook system or something like that. So so you can boil water for your for your teas and your coffees and also to uh, boil water for, of course, your travel lunch meals and more importantly to clean your stuff after you've after you've finished. So yeah, well this is the accessory packet. Uh, overall, I'm kind of really impressed. Let me go ahead and get that uh, heater thing and open that up and see what that's all about. Okay, looking at this, this is. Uh, Made in the UK by Canland. This is 300 grams of chicken and potato stew. So, here's a bona fide official hot pack. And let me try to open this thing and see what's inside because I have not uh, seen one like this. And it really is kind of like, a, well, yeah, I have now. This bag is really reminiscent of the South Korean uh, bag. You know, it's it's insulated, so you go ahead, you take your your hot pack, which I've seen these these I believe these come with uh, I don't know one of the rations overseas, but yep, and it comes with some water, and of course you stick your meal inside and then place them in this. So we'll go ahead and do that and of course we have the handy instructions yeah hey guys I uh, figure we would go ahead and start off with breakfast we have the chocolate muesli with milk again we have the knife fork spoon and the napkin packet there's an energy drink down here that we'll go ahead and try I've got the matches out in case we need to boil water for like our coffee, or at least I'm assuming this is coffee. Kava, I believe means coffee. There's another packet that says coffee, and it feels like, kind of like how the Russian 
one of them Russian packs of coffee was. So, yeah, and got some sugar to go with the coffee. Disinfectant wipe. And this is like a little fruit bar. Kind of feels like a gumdrop kind of thing that uh, you would get like in a French ration. And of course, these are like vitamin C tablets. And you just take these throughout the day. And again, it has B3, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and vi vitamin B2. So these are really good to help uh, keep up your energy and your high vitamin C content to help you from getting sick. And there's the dog starting to growl already. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this set up and uh, get the coffee made and let's rock and roll. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll start off with the muesli because this is probably going to take a little while to reconstitute. And the neat thing about this is there's a there's another vid online that a grateful subscriber said to me. These things pull apart on the bottom so you have a nice base to uh, set them upon. So, yep, that is nice. And inside of this thing is whole wheat oat float sugar, whole milk powder, coffee liqueur, which I am a, I'll be a fan of that. Uh, what else do we have in here? Oat flour, caramel syrup, uh, cocoa butter, hazel, hazelnut brittle, yum. Uh, a little bit of cocoa powder, honey, maltodextrin, and all that yummy stuff. So, it says... Uh, right here for hot or cold water so uh, please don't uh, butcher me on how I try it and fortunately I have two of those two of these things because Savak is an awesome dude and sent me two so maybe we'll do one hot and one cold so yeah well I'm actually going to do hot with this one so in yeah, let me go ahead and get started. Uh, it's got these little tear poles on it. We'll open this up. And they usually have like an oxygen absorber in here, so let me go ahead and fish and see if I can find it. I watched somebody at one time uh, do this and they left the oxygen oxygen absorber in there that was that was pretty entertaining I can't remember who it was so let me see if I can locate it in here and actually I don't see one so yeah well down here on the bottom if you look there is an actual ridge and you want to push that ridge as flat as possible and I want to do it without sticking my sticking my whole hand in there so, yeah, well, let's go ahead and get the water. Okay, one thing right off the bat, I'm noticing uh, I don't see a fill line inside of the package. And checking the English side, I do not see an exact amount of milliliters or ounces to put in. It just says, mix contents of pouch with hot or cold water according to taste. So maybe it is up to you to determine if you want it really watery or really thick. So, yeah. Um, always have these conundrums, especially after watching a Kiwi dude get crucified about how much water, how little water that he put. Yeah, so uh, that's the English side, and I don't see any milliliters or whatever. And that is the Slovenian side, and... Yeah, so, interesting, muy interesante, so, I guess what we'll do is I'll just go ahead and pop stuff in probably about a, a hundred milliliter at a time until it's the consistency that I like it. Okay, like we said, right here's 200 milliwater, we'll go ahead and put a hundred in there first, or half of this thing. So, uh, maybe just a little over. And I broke out the Mark 1 Mod 1 chopstick. Oh, yeah, we're going to need significantly more water than that. We'll try. 200 mil real quick. Yep, yeah, that's going to require... Uh, I don't know.
You tell me. Maybe just a tad more in there. So there's it, there's really not a whole lot in this thing anyway. So, but we'll put just a little more in there. So maybe it's about 250 mil or something like that. And we'll give that a stir. So, yeah. And we'll set this aside and we'll go ahead and we'll start getting on to the drinks. Okay, the next one we have is the sports drink. And I looked all on here and this is like super mega tiny microscopic writing. I saw 500 milliliter. So I've got 500 mil in this glass over here. in this measure and we'll give that a stir I don't know that looks a little weak but who knows this stuff really uh, could have quite a, a power punch so check that out it's kind of clumping together on the bottom I don't know if this is supposed to be hot water or what but yeah. So it has a lemon lime smell. And I'm pouring it all out the back. Just off frame. Lucky me. And yeah. So let's make the coffee. And now the coffee, which I'm hoping is coffee, kava, coffee, instant. Hopefully this is uh, what I believe it to be. And we will take a... Yep, there we go. So maybe we have two different types of coffee. Again, I'm going to stick a pack of sugar in here. And that's like real sugar. So, yeah, nice little moonscape. So, yeah. And then some hot water. And we'll give this a stir. Okay, let's put all of the remaining cutlery. On here as well in case we need it for something and let's take a look at this fruit bar and and it actually kind of says it right there fruit bar and like I said I'm imagining this is going to be something like the gummy thing well no I'm completely totally wrong so yeah, it's like a compressed fruit bar, kind of like a fig bar kind of thing. Hmm. And he, yeah, it kind of has that smell too, so. Yeah. Try to see if contains sugars, fruit purees of apple, pear, sour, cherry, 25%, grape juice, coconut flour, oat flakes, dried pieces of apples. So this is probably going to taste pretty pleasant. Got my disinfecting wipe for my kit if I need it. Let's take a look at these energy tablets. Ah, that's kind of cool. So you can have some for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and throughout the day to help you along. Uh, like vitamin C candies, pretty much. So we'll set some of them right there. Put that back in its happy little box. And let's go ahead and take a look at our entree. Well, let's get our drinks and our coffee over here too. Yeah, buddy. So yeah. Alright. 
Now plop that open. It looks like I got about the right amount of water because I do like mine kind of thick. So this could be a challenge for me to get it actually out of here. Uh, generally you can you can eat this directly out of the pouch, but that wouldn't be much fun for you guys watching me do that. Alright, I got the majority out of there, but there's a little odds and ends. And you can see there's that ridge that's right there, runs right along the bottom. That you have to try to flatten that out as much as possible. So, yeah. Set that right there, and... Yeah, pretty like a, like a continental breakfast. Not a, a whole ton of stuff. But this ration actually has like four entrees <laughs> in it. And, you know, that's really uh, impressive. So, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the chocolate muesli. Oop, I'm dumping it right on the table. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you're a chocolate fan, this is to kill for. So, yeah. And it's got like little little chocolate nibs in there too. Yep. Pretty tasty, pretty good. So, now our fruit bar. Mmm. This is pretty good. This is like a backpacker's wet dream right here. If this has some like protein powder in it too. Yeah, well maybe I shouldn't have said that word, but if you're young, don't ask your parents what that means. No, wait till you're wait till you're a teenager. Alright. Mmm. And we'll take a look at some of these vitamin C tablets. Well, what's the exact word for them? <laughs> Vitrogen energy. So, our Vitrogen energy tablets. And they taste exactly like a vitamin C. So, we're kind of like an orange taste, an orange flavor. So, yeah, if you were walking around throughout the day, and you just wanted to get something in your mouth besides water or whatever, these would really help out. And they increase your saliva intake to help you, in your mind, trick you to think that you're hydrated. So, yeah. And again, we'll try our coffee. I always had pretty good luck with uh, coffee from that region. So, hopefully, Slovenia lives up to the task. Wow, that is just has sugar in it. That is a damn good cup of coffee. And this is this is like MRE coffee and eat your heart out, Starbucks. So Alright, and then the what is this called again? The little sports drink. Uh the mineral mineral vitamin drink. And this is lemon lime flavor. It is still concentrated. I think probably 500 mil is probably too much. It has a distinctly different taste than like Gatorade. And uh, this has vitamin C, niacin, vitamin E, something in, uh, in yeah, uh, vitamin B6, B2, vitamin B1, and vitamin D. So, pretty tasty. Uh, like I said, this is kind of like my uh, brunch, I would say. And I am going to enjoy this. So, yeah, stand by for lunch. Mm -hmm.